AMC 10B 2021, Problem 11. So, a regular hexagon of side length 1 is inscribed in a circle, and each minor arc is determined by the side of the hexagon reflected over, and you're trying to find the region bounded by the 6 reflected arcs. So, to bound a region, right, if I have like boom, 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 the bounded region is within it, so like that region. So, with that interpretation, you know, the region that we're trying to solve for is this region right here. So, it should be pretty evident to you um, that to solve for that region, it would be simply the hexagon, right, the entire hexagon area, minus six times, you know, that little circle area. So, let's find the area of the hexagon first. That's easy. That's just six equilateral triangles, and we know the equilateral triangle area is root 3 over 4 times the side length squared. So, that's six times root 3 over 4 times side length, which is 1 squared, which is just 1. So, this equal to 3 root 3 over 2. That's the, that's the area of this triangle, um, this shape right there. Subtracted by 6 times this circular sector, or like right here. So to solve it, right, you know that reflected over, so this is, that's the same as this, you know, this shape right here, right? And that shape, it can be found by simply finding the area of this entire circular arc subtracted by that, you know, little triangle right here. So what is that area of the circular arc? So, or sector rather. So that sector, which is um, this shape, will be equal to um, one sixth of the entire circle, right? Because this is 60 degrees. So that means one sixth times pi r squared, well, pi r squared r is just one, so this becomes pi r six. And that's the area of this entire circular sector, but it got subtracted by the equilateral triangle, which is root three over four. So, and we have six of these, so multiply by six will give pi minus three root three over two. So now I'll just do the um, three uh, root three over two minus pi plus 3 root 3 over 2 will give 3 root 3 minus pi. So that should be our answer. And if you scroll up, indeed, answer choice B is our correct answer.